about eight years ago, life uh, gave me a wake-up call. <laughs> on, on a routine uh, colonoscopy, it was found that I had uh, colon cancer, stage four colon cancer that had spread to my liver. It came at a time when I felt wonderfully. I felt the healthier I have felt in my life, but it was there. And uh, when something that dramatic happens in your life, you, you really have to, it, it forces you to reorganize your priorities. Uh, at that time, uh, we were very involved in uh, professional clinical work with patients taking care of uh, children. And we were working six days a week and working nine, 10 hours a day. We were happy doing it because we thought that was an important thing that we were doing. It was an important job. We felt responsible for doing this. Nobody else could do it. But then reality hits you in the face and you realize, that, well, let me really see what's important now. What should I do? Of course, we had to decide to pause our professional life until we took care of our health. My wife was, all, my wife was also going through some health issues at the time. So we both decided to concentrate on getting better. During that first year, the treatment was successful. But then, um, as you think, you have time to think on what your life is and what it should be, what you should be doing with your life, then your priorities change. And we decided that maybe intensive clinical work with patients wasn't the most important thing at the moment. And we started dedicating more time to ourselves, to our family, and also reorienting our work, our professional work, into other more um, socially important causes, not so much concentrated on personal care of patient, but more on, on uh, caring and servicing um, the society. Well, going through the, uh, that um, very concerning experience uh, that makes you face your own mortality. It's uh, unfortunate. I wouldn't wish it on anybody, but I think it's a, it give, gave me and it would give anybody a very important lesson as a doctor. It makes you see, it opens your eyes to the point of view of the patient. When you find yourself on the other side of the relationship, you're not the professional caring for somebody who comes to you for help you're now the patient who's going to a doctor for help, and you're on the other side of the equation. It explains to you why the fears, the anxiety of the patients are so different than what the doctor very coldly, necessarily has to, you have to see it from a distance emotionally, but for a patient, it's a complete involvement emotionally. So it is a, it is a point of view that is important to consider, that I have learned that it was more important that I was taking into account at the time. So it taught me to see things from the point of view of the person who is anxious, afraid, and looking for help as a patient. It was an experience of growth professionally. Personally, it made me um, decide that I had to dedicate more time to my family. I, I had to spend, and I did spend, I was still spending more time with my daughters and with my wife and my parents and my brothers. And to find just as much or maybe more satisfaction from that as from the happiness that it brought me taking care of patients. I have um, come to learn that I can multiply the effect of my time, of my work, of my experience if I apply it to more than one person at a time. Finding the leverage that working with Somos has given me, I've seen that I can now affect change, I can now help and benefit groups of people, communities, my community, my neighborhoods, my immigrant communities people that need a lot of help and it multiplies my effect. It makes me more, more effective. I think it's a more rewarding, uh, more than um, being famous or being rich or being interviewed. Uh, it's, um, 
being able to, to say, well, I helped as many people as possible.